Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to some more Taylor Plays, Terraria, Hardcore, Expert Mode, etc, etc. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a shorter episode, because I got shit to do, and uh, just in general, you know, I'm a little busy today. So, we're probably gonna only go for a couple hours, instead of our usual three. And, uh, yes. Last time, we beat Ayakathulu and the Goblin Army, which is pretty impressive. I honestly didn't think I could do that. And I'm a big fan of that fact that I can. And hopefully, you know, this episode will probably just be devoted to, like, <clears throat> the game doesn't friggin' crash. Come on. Alright. Game. Good. So, what I'm thinking, right, is today will probably just be dedicated to... Oh, we got these Spectre Boots. I forgot about that. Oh, so nice. Yeah, I'll probably just dedicate the rest of the... You know, today's up to a little bit of housekeeping. Just sort of, you know, get out here and build ourselves some nice houses. We need two houses, one for the Dryad and one for the Goblin Dude. I think we can do that. I think that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, too big of a deal. Got ourselves some nice little generic wood housing. And yeah, let's just get right into it. This looks like prime real estate for houses. I'm just say that right now. And we can just go ahead and start. There's a bit. Probably put this over here since we're not using the mini shark as much right now. All the dangers have sort of passed for the time being. You know. Nothing super scary is gonna come around and kill us or even attempt, really. In fact, um, Pumpkins are still growing, but I feel like Halloween might be over. It is the 11th of November by now, so... It would make sense for it to be. I don't know. Do, do, da, da. I'm not seeing any dressed up zombies, is what's tipping me off to that fact. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and light up some of this terrain. Yeah, look at that. That's not dressed up. That's not dressed up. That guy's not dressed up. Okay, so I think Halloween is officially over. It only took us two goddamn weeks. Well, that guy's dressed up, but not in the way that Halloween people are. Okay. Let me take this map away. Not very useful. Anyway, so we're probably going to be doing a bit of housekeeping today. Nothing too important, like I said. Maybe do some work on the elevator, do some cave crawling. Maybe get ourselves up to 400 health, since that's not a limit we have to be afraid of anymore. Just good stuff like that, you know. In fact, doesn't matter. In fact, besides instant death traps causing insanely unfair 400 plus damage stuff on my soul, I would say that we're pretty much done in terms of things that can kill us. We have too much health and too much defense. So, unless we really mess up somewhere down the line, we're probably going to be safe. How many torches do I have? Too few. That's not an acceptable amount of torch. There we go. Guess I should also get the preliminaries out of the way. I am drinking today Coke. That, compared to yesterday's long wind description, is kind of simple, but I don't know. I guess I just had money to pick one up, so I might as well. People might call me a shill for mentioning the product brand, but at the same time it wouldn't be a very good shill if that was the case. You know, just the fact that I didn't describe the product as the greatest thing on the planet. I don't think Coke are really paying me for that kind of advertisement. Coke. Eh, it's something to pick up after the lessons, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Hey, nice. More zombie banners. I'm gonna hang them in every place that I ever hang out. Man, frames are dropping a little bit today. What's wrong with you? Is it maybe because I have Skype on? I don't know. We'll just see if it gets real bad. It shouldn't. Lighting up the desert because I'm sick and tired of this place being super dark all the time. Honestly, that's the best thing about... Ooh, another zombie arm. 
Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. There it is. Hey, don't mind if I do. I already have one, but, you know. I've actually gotten really lucky with all the melee weapons. Like, I got all the very good ones. I got the Sun, the Star Fury, I have the... Ah. Oh, look how easy I can kill it. That is great. Anyway, yeah, I got the Star Fury, I have the Enchanted Sword. I have two zombie arms now. You know. Like, what are the food... What are the few things I'm missing in terms of rare melee drops? I guess I don't have the beam sword, but that's more of a hard mode thing. And I don't have that one sword from the frost biome that has like a 1 in 10 chance of dropping when it's a uh, when it's an enchanted sword. I don't know. But in general I've been a little bit lucky. Which is good, because luck is what we'll need. Hard mode is a bit different from regular mode in that pretty much all of it relies on... Well, not all of it, but all... Basically all the best stuff in hard mode is usually from lucky drops, you know? The best armor, or at least the most defensive armor, is made from uh, lucky drops by turtles. Some of the best weaponry, stuff like the marrow or... Yes, the beam sword. I mean, the marrow isn't the best weapon, but it's a good weapon. It's a good. It's a very solid starting weapon. You just get that randomly from zombie archers. Out of Discord, fantastic item. Once again, random chance. Ugh, always annoys me when this happens. Come on, drain, drain you bastard. Thank you. Why is there water in this desert anyway? I would like to call hacks on that. Okay. Anyway, though, I am feeling a lot more comfortable in my skin at the moment. Seeing as, you know, like, we basically have all the things we need to maneuver around the world quite well. Um, have the Spectre boots and the Double Jump and the Hermes boots. No, the Spectre, the Rocket boots, rather. I combined them so they are Spectre boots, but still. Uh, we have all that good stuff. Like, in general, we just have good things going for us. Uh, there's the Goblin Tinker. Like, my one priority right now is to get the Goblin Tinker and bring him a bit closer to my house. Because I want to use the Space Gun and definitely this Mini Shark for at least a while longer. And for the time being, they don't seem to be that useful. Well, they are useful, but... They actually managed to both not have any sort of quality for him. You know, they're not good, they're not bad, they're just neutral. Can you even get one that are bad? I wouldn't think so, but maybe. Uh, why am I lighting up the jungle? Uh, might as well, I guess. You know. What's another chance you're gonna get to do this? Not in hard mode. In hard mode, the jungle's gonna kick your ass. Actually, one thing that concerns me about hard mode, if we eventually get into it, which I'm not guaranteeing. Well, I don't know, that Hayakathulu kill being so effortless really sort of motivates me to think that all the other ones are going to be just as good. Well, we'll see. Point is, thinking about the jungle, right? Chances are... Like... The problem is, with the jungle and things like that... I don't have a lot of terrain for hard mode biomes, because yeah, I mean there's never a lot of terrain for the hard mode biomes since all it does is basically like infiltrate your already existing biomes. Oh nice, one of those things. I still want to get the die guy, and I still don't know how. I really gotta look that up. Frogs. Anyway, yeah. Point is... Uh... What is it saying? Oh yeah. The biomes. Once hard mode comes in, I'm a little bit afraid that... One of my biomes will be overtaken by the hard mode, you know. And the jungle is a very big competitor in that regard. By the halo, you know. Because I don't know where the hell it will spawn, but there's no, like, very good space for it. You know, there's no, like, random patch of land that with nothing on there. 
Every bit of land in this world has got something on it. Be it, you know, jungle or desert or stuff like that. So I'm a little bit worried, honestly, about the lack of space for the new biomes. But I guess, you know, we'll see what happens when the time comes, or if it comes even. Like I said, I'm feeling a bit better after killing that... What is this? Is this a strange plant? Yes. Um, I'm feeling a bit better about life after killing the Agathu and the Goblin army so effortlessly. But at the same time, like, I'm a bit worried. Because the Wall of Flesh is a real big hazard and a real big hassle. And in fact, one of the bad things about the Wall of Flesh, of course, is that you can't teleport away when you fight it. You know, all the other bosses are a little bit safe that way because when you start fighting them you know if you see that it's not going so well unless they are instantly killing you chances are you can teleport away to go home and while that might not straight up save you because they still might chase after you it will give you a breather because you know it'll give you some time to heal and just prepare for them but the wall of flesh does not do that at all in fact in the wall of flesh fight. If you don't kill it, it, you're dead. Which I know sounds a bit obvious. Like, oh yeah, if I don't kill it, it's gonna kill me. I know, Taylor. But the point is, you can't... Uh, what's the word for it? You can't just run away. If things start going sour, then you're just gonna stick with it. Because, you know, it's not like you can leave and try again later. No, either you kill it, or it kills you. Instantly. Which is far from ideal. You know, that's why that fight kind of scares me, though at the same time... You know, if you have some good equipment, that fight is nothing. And also I'm going to spend a lot of time flattening hell, probably. I'm not that worried about it. Anyway, so just talking about our plans for today. Yeah, we're going to make houses for everybody. For the Dryad, for the Goblin Tinkerer, more importantly, and probably for the other dude. For the Die Guy, if you ever bother to show up, because I do still want to dye my robes blue. I think that'll look kind of cool. You know. And then, once we have that, we're probably going to spend a bunch of cash, which we don't have a lot of, but we might spend a bunch of cash on reforging, actually. I think reforging is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be doing a lot of. Because, well, I just need it. I need the space gun, for example, to be better. Because it's already pretty damn good, but imagine how much better it would be. Do I have full mana? I do have full mana. Nice. But yeah, imagine how much better the space gun would be if you could just kill it. Or rather, if you could just... If it was an epic or a furious or whatever, or a godly. Or intimidating, even. I don't remember the best sort of modifier for it. Mostly because I don't care. Yeah. Anyway. So that? I just lit up the entire right side of the world from my house without even really meaning to. Oops. Um. Actually, that's fine. It's better to do it now than have to do it later. And thanks to the magic mirror, we don't even have to waste the walk back. Ah, uh, that's such a good feeling. Just the ability to teleport back home whenever you want. That's why I love the magic mirror. Okay. So let's get back to business. First off, put a bunch of the shit I don't need away. In, of course, completely random chests, because... Why wouldn't I? Don't need that. Definitely don't need that for now. This can go in the chest with these, and this, 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 okay, dynamite, I mean, we're, I'm definitely accumulating around a lot of random crap in my chests, so that's good, sort of, okay, we have the basic framework for a nice little house, gonna give it a bit of a stone background, I don't know, like, I've never got a super house design. I just sort of build things and see what happens. But at the same time, I'd say I'm okay. 
Like, yeah, all the houses I built, they're not the best. But they work. You know, they look good, sort of. And you can kind of see what I was going for. And anyway. Point is, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just build... I could just stick all the NPCs in one gigantic house and, you know, have it be more convenient for everyone because I wouldn't have to run between houses all the time. But that's not the way I'm doing it, because I'm me. And, you know, the Terra way is the very, very inconvenient way. Okay. Okay. And you too. We'll block. There we go. So that should be fine. Now we can dig out the rest of this. Perfect. Okay. Got ourselves a nice, happy little building. Yeah, anybody hear that the uh, Bob Ross Marathon didn't end? I mean, it did. But what I mean is, they're gonna, like, keep it going. I think that's pretty great. Every Monday or something. Yeah, I think they said they're gonna air a season every Monday. Which is kinda cool. Because, actually, I think if I'm right about the time zones, I might actually be able to catch that. Like, the tail end of it. That's kinda neat. And just in general, I like that they have now a little thing. For the creative stuff. For the creative people creative sort of mascot, Bob Ross, because, you know, I'm a creative person at heart, and I just think, like, it's really nice when creative people get the recognition and respect they deserve for doing creative shit. Okay, goblin dude. Got yourself a house, buddy. Don't you feel great? Please come home. So I can reforge the shit. Yes, okay. Now chances are this house, like, I have ground houses, and I know for a fact that in hard mode, all the NPCs just die to slimes over and over again. Which is, you know, a lot of fun. Uh, is this a material? No. So I don't actually need it. I mean, I like the ruler. I like what they did with the ruler. I'm actually gonna buy one. Um, definitely a big fan of how they improved it. You know? Excuse me. Uh. It's not. <laughs> it's not operating. I do not understand. Did you tell me a broken ruler, you son of a bitch? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, point is, I do like the way the ruler works now. Because, you know, before, it worked in, oh god, my eyes mode. Which was not that great. Okay, let's see how much this costs. Eh. A little better. Eh. No. Uh, you know what? That's good enough, actually. I don't remember the best sort of modifier for reforging this stuff, but that's okay. Okay, you. Bleeding. Oh, I don't have the money for more. Like, I would like to reforge everything I have to be awarding. Awarding stuff, because at the end of the day, awarding stuff really is the only kind of thing really terribly worth it. That's four so... That's not even worth it. You know? What I mean is, like, at the end of the day... If you think about it, what's the best? Okay, yeah, it has to be superior. Superior, okay, so I got the best one. It's got more knockback, which is good because it doesn't have very good knockback. It's got more damage, which is... <laughs> which is good because more damage is fantastic. Okay. So we're good on that house. We probably should build another one. For the, uh... For the Dryad. But yeah, okay, so I like the fact that we got the Superior Space Gun, and... All these accessories I would eventually like to reforge to be fleeting. Because right now, uh, not fleeting, that's stupid. I need more movement speed. Um, no, eventually, I'd like to reforge everything to be, you know, warding. 
because warding is a really, really, like, I think besides if you're going, like, super magic build and you want to do an arcane, if you want to do everything arcane, or maybe, like, you're going for mining speed and have accessories that are all about improving your speed, um, I think warding is really the only one that's worth it to have in terms of accessories. In terms of accessory upgrades, you know? Because that is a... Like, that is a decent amount for defense that you get from it. You know, free for defense. You will... Like, I don't think anybody will ever compa complain about having four free defense, right? That's just not the kind of thing people moan about. Ah, shit, I forgot to... Yesterday I said I would check if my soft... If my, uh, softcore world dungeon... I mean, jungle has, uh, traps in it. Because I didn't know if the jungle had traps in it, so I was, like, super paranoid about it yesterday. You know what? Let's make a couple of these. Or, rather, literally one of these. I Cthulhu has proven to be not so dangerous, which I like. But yeah, so now I'm a little paranoid about the fact that the dungeon might have traps in it. I mean, I know it will eventually have traps in it once you get down far enough, but... You know, the actual thing has traps. But I didn't check that, which I don't like. So, let's actually go ahead and drink one of these Danger Sense potions, since I accidentally made so many, didn't even... Like, now I have a lot of them. So we've got five minutes, ten minutes of Danger Sense, five minutes of Hunter. That's gonna be real nice, though for some reason, honey apparently counts as dangerous. I guess it's sticky, and, you know... Ah, motherfucker! Okay, these spiked jungle slimes are the worst. Let's just immediately acknowledge that fact and... ...understand it. Worst enemy. Um, anyway. Let's go ahead and get some more of these jungle spores and stingers and stuff for... ...the future. Which is gonna be real nice. But yeah, I'm a little paranoid about the traps. With the danger sense, I feel better but not by a lot. Come on. Ah, who shot me? Okay, it's not so bad yet. It's gonna get worse. Just you watch. Once eventually I get... start getting shot from all sides. Let's go ahead and waste one of these. Am I? Why not heal 50 on that one? Ah. I'm drinking the good ones, so... I don't know, I guess I just accidentally drank a... 50 health potion instead of a... 100 health. Anyway, so these things do still do quite a hefty sum of damage. So you gotta watch out for the stingers. Or else they can really mess you up. Like, this thing that I'm doing right here, you shouldn't do this thing. Ever. You know, just flying over a giant gap. With potentially millions of... ...little things... ...coming out there, trying to get you. You should never do that. Don't do the things Taylor does, because the things Taylor does are... ...really, really stupid. And yet he's still alive somehow, which... ...I'm really just amazed by at this point. Honestly, I expected to die a long time ago. Probably that one time I teleported back home with like 15 health. And no, it was 4 health, wasn't it? Ugh. That was pretty awful. Oh. Anyway. I guess I'm not dead, so, you know. That's one thing to be grateful for. <laughs> I would much rather get hit by those things multiple times than one time by that slime, because... Like, I'm not gonna try and play it up as, like, some horrible thing, but I know for a fact it causes poison and it might cause confusion? I don't remember. It definitely caused confusion within me. But yeah, point is, don't get hit by those. Ever. Okay. Up. Oh. Ah. See what I mean? jungle sucks. And, you know, 
I'm sure some people out there will say, oh, the jungle doesn't suck that bad, Taylor. You just need to get good. Well, maybe. But at the same time, you can't tell me that this is not awful. Poison in general in video games has been always used as the annoying mechanic, you know? You never see, like, noble people fight using poison. Nobody who's brave or clever. I mean, nobody who's brave, rather. Plenty of clever people, but nobody who's brave in a video game. If you want to code people based on their attacks, nobody who's brave in video games fights using poison. It's always the scumbags, the cheaters, the Han Solo types who use the poison. You know. Because people consider that not noble, killing from a distance. Which I think is bullshit, you know? I mean, I would use poison every chance I could. If I could get poison in this game, which I can't, which makes me sad. The closest thing you can get is, like, fire. But yeah. Uh, don't get distracted. I got distracted for a second there. Um, anyway, yeah, point is... Poison is honorable when I use it, because I'm the protagonist, and basically any goals I have are honorable. But when the enemies use it, they're scumbags. And, you know, that's not hypocritical at all, because I say so. I think I've made myself clear. Hunter Potion, might as well refresh the danger sense. And on we go. Yeah, I'm still a little paranoid about the traps. Oh. To be honest. Ooh, jungle house. Don't mind if I do. No. 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 Oh, they shoot it directly at you. I didn't even know that. Why is everything so horrible? Ah, oh, Jesus. No. Ah, uh, you're not even dead yet. And it does so much damage, too. Man, that is crazy. I'm never going to the jungle. If I, like, get an offer to travel to South America or something, I'm just gonna say, no thank you, I've seen your local wildlife. I don't know. I'm sure South America isn't actually that bad. Otherwise, people wouldn't live there. Well, I mean, obviously... They can't help with it. Ooh, score. Somebody's looking for stuff. Uh. I, I would like, however, a heart container. Like, that's kind of the reason I came here, is to look for heart containers in a place I haven't been before. Slowly getting poisoned. I wonder if there's anything in this game that I'll, like, that you'll out-regenerate the poison. I feel like there is. You know, like, passively out-regenerate, not with a special potion. Or do. Just like, if you get poisoned, just have it be like, oh, no big deal. And yes, I know about the Bezoar. Um, I just completely forgot about it for a second. Also, I would really like for it to drop now. That I've remembered about it. That I've remembered its existence. Okay. I still keep checking for traps because I'm still paranoid. Well, that's just me, you know. Paranoia in a nutshell. Well, paranoia in a nutshell is... How did I get into this nutshell? Help! The government must be behind this nutshell. Uh, thank you, folks. I'll be here all night. Okay. I mean, if I got trapped in a nutshell, I'd be kind of paranoid. Why are these piranhas doing weird shit? Look at that. Just sitting around, they're not doing anything. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. I see now. When I'm in the water, they aim towards me, even if I'm not in the same pool of water that they are. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. I just had to get far down enough. There are traps. I was right to be careful. Which, you know... I mean, safety is cool, kids, no matter what people think. 
safety is still like insanely cool. Oh look, it immediately demonstrates to me, oh yeah look, there can be both types of traps here. Dumb and dumber. Okay, if a worm knocks me onto this pleasure plate, I gotta make sure not to freak out. Okay. Or maybe that's because I'm in a granite biome now, wow. I mean, okay, not really that surprising considering that biomes around in this game are all twisted together and messed up, but at the same time, yeah. You know, wouldn't it be funny if we found the lizard temple like right now? Well, not funny, how would I say it? Um, less time consuming than if I had to spend the next, I don't know, 11 years looking for it. Like I had to do on my regular word world. I swear to god, they hide that thing really well for a gigantic underground temple. Is that? Surely not. But those are spikes I haven't seen before. No. No. Oh my fucking... <laughs> Look at my luck! Look at my wonderful, wonderful luck! I'm gonna... Get myself locked in here now. Oh, god. Okay, let's not die after this incredible luck. What the hell, man? I was joking when I s said the thing about the Lizard Temple. But apparently the game took me seriously. Well, I am nothing if not for that. Especially since it's... Honestly, all things considered, not even that far away from... The top of the jungle. It's barely even in the cavern layer. Anyway, wow, yes. I thank you, video game, for this insane luck that you have granted me. I pay homage. Uh, yeah. Holy hell, I'm at the top, too. So the chances are, the entrance is somewhere around here. Probably that thing down there. Or, you know, this could be it. Uh, I actually didn't mean to teleport home, but you know what? I don't mind that I did, because I probably would have died anyway. Good. Well. That's actually really nice. Because I'm pretty sure this right here is just the door to the dungeon. Okay, sweet. So we got that now. Um, What else did we get from our trip to the dungeon that I wanted to use? Um, Oh yeah, that's right, the gravitation potion. I uh, wanted to take advantage of that and find some floating islands, maybe. Great idea, Taylor. Let's go do that. Now, gravitation potion still affects you in terms of damage, but... Yeah. Let's just go. Three minutes. Whee! Let's be real careful. In terms of not getting hit by rogue floating islands. Because, you know, floating up in space... It's kind of a bad idea. Ugh. Pass. Like, you might get hit by floating rocks. Things like that. Come on. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of island pants. Ah, uh, this is not doing anything. I guess this is kind of confirming the lack of floating islands above us. Which is quite nice. But, at the same time, I feel like I might be up too high for floating islands, I don't know. Maybe I'm down too low. Oh, yep, it was the other one. Okay, I'm under one. How much do you guys hurt? I'd rather not try and find out. Is it just a lame floating lake? No, it's a proper island. Good. Yes, that is exactly the thing I was looking for, and I didn't even know it. Let's go ahead and do that. Get our recall potion back from the time we wasted it. Well, we used it. Do that, and okay, perfect. You guys are real jerks, you know that? Or gals. I don't know. 
I would assume harpies are gals. Because that's how they are historically. Okay, so negates fall damage. Let's hope to God that, you know, it actually does negate fall damage. I mean, it should. Or else I'd just sue them for shoddy advertising, but, you know, I'm gonna be real careful, actually. I do not trust the fall damage claim. So now we probably already have everything we need from the, uh, Floating Island people, honestly. Like, in terms of Floating Islands, there's not much else you need besides, well, the Horseshoe. And the Cloud and the Balloon, but I already have that, so. I think we're good. On the Horseshoe front, anyway. I know it's on exploring the Floating Islands. I mean, there might be a couple more somewhere around here, but I'm not gonna go look for them. Because we're almost out of potion. Okay, so now, ideally this would not kill me, but I'm still not gonna try my luck. Why are you here? You're supposed to spawn underground. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Goody, goody gumdrops. Hey, buddy. Yep. Good for you. Maybe I should make another goblin stand. Ah, uh, no. Farming for that would take far too long. Let's go home and combine this. Ah, shit. I wasted money on a cloud and a balloon when, in fact, I probably should have just, <coughs> you know, waited until it was at the best possible sort of configuration. You know, until it was at the very edge and then combine it. That would make sense. Okay, well, if I had to make a suggestion... Or, you know, things to add in terms of things to add to this game to make it better. Uh, maybe make it so that you can actually use, like, you can combine items from the accessory slots. I think that would make everybody's life a lot better. But that's just me. What do I know? Alright. So I got this suspicious looking eye, which I'm going to put away now because I don't really want to mess with it, though. At the same time, at this point, I kind of feel like... I don't know. I could probably take on the Eye of Cthulhu. I mean, done it once already. And it worked out okay. Where's my jungle stuff? There it is. And the stingers. Alright. Uh, don't really need much. I guess I should make the Blade of Grass immediately so that later in my life I can use it. Hmm. I actually don't remember the full set bonus for the uh, jungle thing. Because if it's good, I might actually give it a shot. Because as is, like this is more damage and more mana, but I do not like having to wait between my space gun shots. I mean, it does recover mana quite fast. Yeah, okay. Worst comes to worst, I can always use the mini shark. Which, I mean, it's gotta be a little sad when the mini shark is the worst comes to worst option. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I'm talking about you, mini shark. Anyways. Let's go do some work on the elevator, actually. Or rather, on the hell, very slowly descending platform lift. Because Taylor's too goddamn paranoid to make a proper drop, even though he could probably survive it with the lucky horseshoe balloon he's got. But whatever. Anyway, um, this only loses like 9 mana per shot, 7. And, you know, I feel like having over 20 shots, because 20 shots is. What, 140? Yeah, 140. Having, like, almost 30 shots of the space gun uninterrupted should be more than enough for whatever we need, unless it's, like, a very big boss or something, but for a very big boss, I'd just get a mana flower. Oh, yeah, I should probably get a mana flower now that I think about it. 
since I can. It's just a nature's gift combined with, well, stuff. With the... Uh... Yeah, next time I get go to the jungle, I'm gonna go look for a nature's gift, actually. It's kinda useful. Take one of these, because why not? Yeah, I'm gonna do that next time I go to the jungle. Look for a nature's gift, and then make, uh... On the big potions, because a mana flower is really useful if you got a lot of potions. I mean, hard mode, especially if you're big on, like, you know. Yeah, in hard mode, if you're really big on the, uh, mana stuff, there's nothing better for you than a mana flower, honestly. It's a fantastic item for that purpose. For the purpose of, you know, having a fantastic item. Anyway, so, let's check this horseshoe balloon. Like, I don't know why I want to check it. I know it's going to work, because why wouldn't it? Yeah, no fall damage. Jeez, Taylor, what did you expect? I don't know. Oh, that was lucky. Me getting out of the way, not the skeleton falling on me. That's somewhat less lucky. Alright. So, I guess we can just make it a death fall from this point on. Because I'm always going to have something that reduces my fall damage. You know, I'm never going to take off the horseshoe thing. And when I do, I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to use... I'm just going to buy some wings. Um... You know. By the time hard mode comes around, it's going to be wing city for me. Oh look, it's a shitty gold helmet. Yeah. The ancient stuff is not so good. Might as well put this away. Robo cannon is kind of neat, but I got better things with it. I got better things to use for the time being. Okay. I mean, we're getting a lot of good stuff now. Like, I feel in my element. So I'm pretty safe these days, unless I do something stupid. So, you know, we should still be on our toes. Because there's no power like the power of Taylor in being a goddamn idiot. But at the same time, like, I think the setup we have right now is idiot-proof. Not literally idiot-proof, obviously. There's no such thing as idiot-proof, because that's the point about idiots, is they can be so goddamn stupid that they can fuck up the simplest tasks. Hey, Crawdad. Bye, Crawdad. Ooh. I never knew they dropped these. It's not very good, but, you know. Something to note, I suppose. Um, yeah. That's the point about idiots, and why the phrase idiot-proof is kinda like... I understand what it means, but it's a false premise. Things can't be idiot-proof, because at the end of the day... Just like there is no limit to how fantastic the human mind can be, there's also no limit to how goddamn stupid it can be. Trust me. Man, we're going pretty fast. I guess it's because I don't have to put platforms down anymore. But yeah, there's no limit to how stupid somebody can be, either. Just as much as there's no limit to how brilliant they can be. Because that's the way life works, is... For every smart person, there's like 10 idiots. And at the end of the day, you will always find an idiot who can fuck up even the most idiot-proof thing. So the phrase idiot-proof is kind of a false premise, like I said. Because it can never be really, truly idiot-proof. I think people in tech support can really kind of, you know, agree with me on that. Sometimes, you just get the worst of people. I'm not saying every person is like that. In fact, the vast majority of people are fine. You know, they might not be stupid. Like, they might not be idiots. Or rather, they might be stupid even. Like, yeah, who knows, they might not know that much. But at the same time, they have some lateral thinking skills. They can figure shit out. But there are some people out there who 
Like, there's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly normal, upstanding human beings. It's just that, at the same time, they're just really bad at figuring shit out for their own. You know, that's the tech support nightmare stories of spending hours on the phone teaching people how to open windows. You know? It's just that some people are not good at that stuff. They're not good at learning. Which is the worst kind of thing. Like, being bad at learning is the worst thing you can be bad at, because how else, how do you get good at things? You learn. If you're bad at literally anything else but good at learning, then your state of being bad at something is only a matter of time and effort. You know, you're bad at something, but you're good at learning? Fine then, you can just learn things and figure it out. But if you're bad at learning, then you're screwed. Or at least you're gonna have to try a hell of a lot harder than most people. Because most people, you know, only have to grapple with their laziness. And things like that. With their laziness and the lack of funds or lack of motivation. Oh god, Medusa. I hear her. She's down there. She's gonna get me. Or maybe the paranoia is. I don't know. Either way, I don't want it. Send it back. Ah. God! Oh, fucking God, man, no. No. No, thank you. I, I refuse to accept your invitation, gentlemen. This gangbang will not happen. Fuck me. These things hurt. Can I destroy the marble biome background? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, perfect. I can remove these fuckers off the face of the earth. If I believe... Okay. Mini shark time. Okay, so that's good to know. If you want, you can in fact remove the marble biome background. And that will destroy the marble biome as well, I'm assuming. Which I'm probably gonna need, because otherwise I'm gonna be falling through the marble biome every time, and there's nothing worse than seeing a marble biome even in passing. It's just not it's just not a good thing to be a marble biome. To be in, or to be near, or just to be around. Nobody wants it. Nobody likes it. Nobody has it. It has no friends. And it keeps sending fuckers down to try and ruin my day. Oh. As evidenced by this. Fucker. Okay. Am I getting salty? No, not really. I feel like I might be a little bit, but no, that's probably not it. That's probably just, like, anger at the marble biome. Which is understandable, I think. Most people don't like the marble biome. But, like, that's by design. It's not something that they, like, didn't plan. The marble biome is supposed to get you mad. Which is why the greatest victory of the world is when you don't do it. When you don't get angry. You know? That's like trolling. When people try and get a rise out of you, they're deliberately doing it. You know? When people say things to make you angry, the best way to react is to not give a shit. Just ignore all your inner instincts saying, give a shit, Taylor. Just, just give a shit. Just dare to give a shit. And forget it. You know? Because if you let the people get a rise out of you, they won. But as is, it's perfectly fine. Don't get angry at things, you know? A lot of the time, that's exactly what the people who try and get you angry want. Just figure to get mad at them. Because, I, 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 I mean, I don't know why, but yeah. Alright, come on, buddy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, enough about that, Terraria. Ooh! Never actually had one of these. They're always too rare. Uh, 
Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, <laughs> honestly, like, something about that humor is priceless. I don't know what it is, but, you know, I just can't put money on the line when something like that is going down. You can't. That is better than cheap. That is priceless. Fart jokes. They're always funny. Well, mildly. Like, that's the thing about fart jokes. They're reliable. They are reliably funny. They are amusing every time. I'm not saying they're gonna be laugh out loud every time, unless you're into that sort of thing. They're usually not. But, at the same time, nobody's ever gonna go, Oh man, a fart joke! Because they're always at least a little bit funny. At least a little bit entertaining. Okay. So, we're gonna have to drain this, because... I like convenience in my transportation. And this is completely inconvenient. Oh, it's going down! Isn't there some kind of explosive that can make lava go upwards? Anyway. No, it's fine. We'll work it out. Just don't fall into the goddamn lava. And we'll be fine. Maybe don't do that? Uh, that's kind of okay. I think I just fell in- I think I just drained it into like a spider biome or something. Yep, that was a spider biome. I can hear them. Because, yeah. That's a lot of cobwebs being cleared. Get right down there, fellas. Probably not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> now is it? Oops. Oh, well. I hear worms. Worms trying to drain me into the... Trying to make me fall into the magma. Or the lava. Honestly, the whole magma versus lava debate is just semantics. It's entirely based on semantics, and I don't care. I mean, there's a... like... That's the thing. They're both... I mean, there is an obvious distinction. One of them is on the surface, and one of them is inside. I don't remember which one. I think lava is the one on the surface, and magma is the one inside, but... I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am, but... The point is, it's just such a nonsense debate, because both words evoke the same image, you know? They can be used interchangeably now, unless... Maybe you're doing it in, like, a scientific context. Because really, who cares what it is? It's hot, it's horrible... And you'll feel bad if it... If you try and sit on it. Come on. It's the same everywhere. <laughs> God. No. No. Out, foul demons. God, this place is huge. Yep, and the minecart goes straight down into it. I should probably have, be having my dart trap out, in retrospect. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't like being here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig my tunnel and then block it off forever. Because this place is crap. Look at this. I bet there's not even Wi-Fi. Okay. Just dig past it, forget about it. Leave it alone. Sure, why not? I need a refill. Oh, come on, frames. Don't you dare. Oh, there were two of them. I was confused for a second. I thought that was like some rare double damage taking spider, but that would be a bit silly. That's a bit of an evolutionary liability, I would say having to take double damage. You know, it's like saying that the loss from the Binding of Isaac is a good, sort of strong evolutionary partner for mating. It's really not. He's more like a sad little sperm. Okay. Anyway. I figure it might as well keep on going. And keep on going and 
Alright. So, here we are going to have to make a bit of a detour to drain this shit. Because this is just unacceptable. I can't live like this. And I refuse to. Honestly, I do hate the fact that I once again, as I... Honestly, I think I've done this like two or three times now, but yeah. I've once again placed my elevator shaft directly under... Directly above a spider pit. I mean, it happens every single time. But... So you'd think I'd be fine with it by now, but I'm really not. It's really annoying every time it happens. Honestly. It's just bad. Because the cobwebs, like, I don't even care about the spiders much. The spiders don't bother me after a while, but, uh... You know, the cobwebs. They don't leave. They just keep appearing. Oh, just drain into hell. Alright, you're pretty damn close. Look at that. Get out of here. The drain? No. Come on. Go. More spiders. How nice. <laughs> yes, die. Well, um... It's a little bit further down now. So, you know, I could dig a couple more seconds of the tunnel without dying. Hey there, Chris Wick. How are ya? <clears throat> Good morning to you. We are digging elevators. As we always do. And, of course, lava and spiders are both stopping us because... Well, lava and spiders don't need a reason. They just love on spiders. Anyways. Let's just try and maybe drain some of this out with bombs. Some more. Get out. I'm throwing these at the wrong angle. That's not gonna drain anything. Come on, I've been down here before. I know that. Like based on the map, there's a big old hole down here that you can just drain out. And yet, you're not doing it. Truly, you're the worst. Lala slash magma slash whatever. Just said that that is a completely pointless distinction. It really is the worst, isn't it? <clears throat> Alright. No more of that madness. Let's just have a nice, orderly tunnel down to the worst place in the universe. Uh, it is good to have a lucky horseshoe, though. Like, I don't... I don't have to feel persecuted anymore by this stupid tunnel. I can just dig it down, and then fall down it every time and forget about it. Now, if I was having guests over, I'd maybe renovate it. You know, but yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Yeah, bombs do work in lava. Um, it's quite nice. Though I do agree that's a bit of a design oversight. The fact that they don't, you know, uh, what's the word? Yeah, the fact that bombs and lava work together in a way that doesn't make them immediately explode kind of is a design oversight. I feel like that's what should happen. But hey, it doesn't. And yeah, don't worry about it, Chris Wick. Um, about not figuring it out. I bet if I land... How much, how much fun would it be if I just landed on an explosive right there? <laughs> just 300... 300 health, gone. Just bam. Anyway, enough of that dreary business. Oh god. Thank god I have a lot of health. Fuck me. Gotta look where I'm digging. Okay. I can sit this out. Ooh, let's not do that again, huh? Uh, over here, maybe. And try and drain this in a w oh. Try and drain this in a way that is gonna make life better. But no. No, this isn't gonna work. Everything around here is just gonna make life worse. Careful. Careful. Anyway, yeah. That was a near-death situation once again. Good thing I have good reflexes to account for my terrible decision making. Alright. Don't think I don't see you. 
There we go. Ooh, house. Don't mind if I do. Forward. I mean, it's a golden chest, so at this point, golden chests really aren't worth much to us, but there might be some gold in there. You know, some money. Some dineros, or whatever. It's gonna be real useful, if that is the case. Okay. So. There we go. Traps? No. One good thing about hell is there are no traps in it. Like, the whole place is a gigantic trap. So, you know, it's not like you feel good being there. But at the same time, nothing can blindside you, really. Ooh, why not? Another one. Eh, sell this, or make a fart in a bottle, because I'm mature. Um, this... good. This is good. Don't need the rest of that. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, free loom. Ah, oh, loom. That was a great... That's a great adventure game. Uh, sort of. I mean, I started playing it back in... Like, two months ago. When I bought the entire LucasArts Adventure Collection on sale. But then I was just kind of like, oh, this is pretty... But, you know, I played it for about half an hour. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Then I played it for another half an hour, and I was like, where the fuck do I go? Goddamn Moon Logic from 1990-whatever. But, you know, that's just me. Anyways. The final challenge. The worst lava yet. It really is. Like, there's nothing else here. It's just this lava, and then we're done. But look at all this lava. Oh! Eh. Stopper. It's like a bathtub drain. Alright. There we go. That's the lava gone. It's probably just gonna drain into the oceans. Of lava that are already around. So, you know, it's fine. Just gonna take it a little bit for it to reach the top. And our frames are dropping, as always. Fantastic. Anyways, um... Yeah. Oh, hi, Tim. You're back for more? Okay, let's see if my space gun can actually kill you before I have to reload. Okay. Good. And he gave me free gold. I never hate Tim. His free money is always worth it to me. Oh, yes! Perfect. And they float in the lava, too, which is great. Alright, out you go. Maybe I should widen this. Make it go faster. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Because this thing is draining kind of slow. I mean, it is a lot of lava, but at the same time. And with that, wow, our elevator is basically complete. Like, we can fall all the way down to hell. Essentially. It's not completely drained, but once it is, yeah, it'll be just all the way to hell. Which, uh, honestly, this went surprisingly without incident. Usually most of the time when you dig a elevator, I mean, most people know what I'm talking about, but yeah, when you dig a elevator, you usually find, like, about 60 oceans, and you have to drain all of them. Like, I haven't seen a single tile of obsidian around here, which honestly surprises me a little bit. At this point, you'd think I would have some. I'm gonna have to, like, artificially make some. Oh, that's the dumb hat thing. Uh, sure. Why not? Drain, damn you, drain! Alright, I mean, I guess game recommendations, I don't know. Scoping out fantastic games, well. The, today's game, that I just think is interesting, kinda, is a game that I'm probably gonna play soon anyway, cause it's out, like, tomorrow, and it looks kinda nice, so, unless it's ludicrously expensive, I'm probably gonna play it on stream on the weekend or something, and it is Caro Blaster. It's a game by the makers of Cave Story that, from what I've seen, just seems to be very similar to Cave Story, you know, it's got that same sort of platformer gameplay, and, you know, an indie game from the developers of the original indie game. I'm down with that. 
And just in general, it seems to be a very, like, solid, shooty platformer thing. As you would expect from the people who made Cave Story and published La Mulana. Well, published by the same company that makes La Mulana. That published La Mulana. The remake. So yeah, I'm probably gonna check that out. Seems like a fun little thing to do. Okay, that took up, like, no time. Come on, drain! Yeah. There's still getting a little bit of lava left here, but I can drain it out myself. It's gonna take a little bit. Uh, liquid physics, they're great, but they don't work that well if you're trying to do something that goes quickly. Now do they? Drain, damn you, drain! Okay. Almost there. Okay, I'm gonna go... Well, first off, I'm gonna remove this. Second off, I'm gonna try and drain this from the other end. Yep. Down we go! Now we gotta wait for all this shit. da 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 do do da 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 do 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 Alright, are we done? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I hope I didn't just make infinite lava, because that is like the opposite of my plans. My plans are less lava. Infinite lava is more lava, so... Like I said, the opposite of my plans. Let's just go ahead and do this and see what happens. Uh, not much. All the lava is now in a place that's even less convenient for me to dig in. Go! Go, you damn red thing! Come on. Stupid. Okay, are we done? I don't think there's any more lava. Oh, that poor worm! Did you see that? That worm just fell all the way down here. Poor bastard. I didn't know it would end up in this hell. In this quite literal hell. Because yes, the elevator is now... I mean, assuming I... You know, lava proof the bottom, open for business. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Ooh! Wow! Just the random compass lying there. Don't mind if I do. Uh, free up a slot for it. Thank you, game! Didn't really need it, but thank you. Oh god, no. Also, no. You know what, this is fine for now. Like, being this close to hell. I can just, like, descend down upon it from here. Actually, do I have any wood? There. The hell station. Uh-huh. Bit too close for comfort. Okay, going home. Alright, let's not do that again. How about... Let's build a house for the Dryad, actually, because she's, like, kind of not here right now. And I want her to be. I need her. I do. Um, where would be a good place? We don't really have any, like, obvious areas made of trees or anything. Maybe a cave? No. Hmm. Yeah, there's the thought. Oh, wait. Didn't I light up these houses? So she should be arriving soon. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, crap. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go light those houses up, actually. At least the one with the rope that I have to it. Um, that's gonna make life a lot easier for everyone. Because then the Dryad can arrive, and I mean, she'll live in a sky house, but that's just a temporary home. And I'll move her into a proper house once I need her. And I'll just exile the bunch of NPCs that I don't really care about more than once in a... Like a... Yeah, more than once in a 20-year period. 
I'll exile them to the sky houses. Because, yeah, there are some NPCs in this game that, unless you're going for, like, a theme or something, you really don't care about. Like the pirate. You really don't care about the pirate, do you? I don't know. I don't want anything from him. This is good. This is good. Hey there, Agent Perry 2. Or just Agent Perry. Either one. How are ya? We are lighting up sky houses, I guess. I should go get the other one, too. I'm doing quite alright. Thank you. For asking. Okay, so this is good housing. Nah, <laughs> no. I'm out. Whee! Come on. Good. Good, good, good. Things are going quite well. Alright, let's go get that other house, which is... Okay, right between the, uh, snow and the sand. Good. So that's a very clear point at which I can grab it. Go ahead and do that. Why am I doing this? I have a magic mirror. Home. The mouse? Hmm. Oh, the, uh, the cursor. Yeah. Thank you. Um, if you're wondering about the white outline, it's actually like a thing that you can turn on in the game. Like, it's not in the game settings, you have to mess with the game files, but they do have this very nice little thing where you can put an outline over the, cur the cursor, just to make it more visible, which I like. Sometimes it can be hard to see. Anyways. Do, 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 do. Making my way downtown. Yeah. Alrighty. So. It should be, ow, right here. I may as well get this coat. I have so many things, I should throw some of them out. I really should. Hey, thanks for the follow, Agent Perry. Okay. Hope you enjoy the stream. Or what you see of it, anyway. Okay. Alright, here. So it's just about here. Which is quite nice. Alright. Up we go. So I'm hoping to just put down this little torch here. And that should be enough to, hopefully, make the Dryad, or whoever, want to move in. I should build a proper house, but I'm really lazy. Oh god, why? Alright, because it's the Sky Domain. No. Go away. Thank you. You're not going away. You had one instruction. Just to leave me alone, and you're not following it. Do you even care what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Skylands into houses is great. I'm honestly surprised I haven't found a Sky Lake yet. Because if there's one thing that's kind of nice, it's always, that's always kind of nice is building a house on a Sky Lake. I have one in my softcore world, specifically like that. It's a very nice one. Anyway. Come on. I'll take all of you on. You're not trapped on the Sky Island with me. I rather I'm not trapped on the Sky Island with you. You're trapped on the Sky Island with me. Okay, is this suitable housing? Yes, good. I'm out. See ya. Alright, good. So now people should start moving in. I'm just gonna go ahead and make my way home. Good. Ah, you jerk. Friggin' Timmy. I hate the angler. Even though he deserves probably none of that hate, but he really is a jackass. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so Halloween is over because that bunny that I just mercilessly slaughtered wasn't dressed up. Ah, fight the destroying your hardcore world. Good luck with that, Agent Perry. That is a very dangerous task. Hope you do it. OK, 
because, man, that's quite dangerous. I gotta admit. Okay, I'm not gonna reforge. I'm gonna see what's the cheapest thing to reforge. Expensive. That's quite cheap. That's pretty cheap. Hey, wow! Warding right off the bat. Okay. We're looking for warding on all of these because that's the best one. Or it is okay. Can I get another one? Arcane. Not worth it. I guess more mana is always nice, but it's not worth it. Okay, so what do I combine this compass with? Because I know it's something. Guide. It's the watch and the depth meter. Right, I gotta get the depth meter. Um, I think you get that from the jungle bats? Yeah, you do. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, it's mostly farming. It's just farming for depth meters. Honestly, hardcore... Or rather, not hardcore. Hard mode. Hard mode worlds are kind of the best for that. Because, especially if you're building arenas, because I remember building a large Plantera arena. Sure. So that's kind of fun to say. Plantera arena. Plantera arena. Okay, now, I remember building a large one of those, and... Probably there were about 10 bats on the screen at one point. Like, almost all the time. I must have gotten... I got so many death meters that I didn't even need. It was amazing. Anyway. So yeah, we might as well check out the jungle. First of all, to just, like... Maybe find some jungle bats and... Get that death meter, finally. And second off, just maybe find some health. And get more jungle stuff, because I do need more jungle stuff. Uh, it did not work out, Agent Perry. Because that would sure be a shame. Uh, that sucks. Well, hey, always next time. <laughs> uh, because it's all, it's true, there is always next time. In hard mode, in hardcore mode. Because you can't stop till you win. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not mad about it. Hey. Right. Actually, I actually like this kind of stuff. Hardcore stuff. I don't know why, I find it relaxing. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. Anyway. So, where are we going? Probably somewhere around here, if I had to guess. You know, I bet the entire hive is just sort of lit up. Like, if I ever find a beehive, I bet the entire thing is just lit up as one big hazard. Because it is. I should have to really do this. Yeah, I can get to hard mode in three hours? Man, that's pretty crazy. It takes me three hours to actually just set up a decent house. He must be he must have been at this for a lot longer than I have. Props. Mad props, man. This kind of stuff is pretty tough. Ooh. I just can't stop rhyming today. Also, heart crystal, where is it? Oh. On the floor. Of course. Do 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 da. Hey, look who it is. The dryad. Finally. I mean, I only set up a house for you, what, like five minutes ago? Well, it's about dang time. Ah, uh, no. 320 health. Don't mind if I do. You are the worst jungle slime. Okay. Ooh, free stuff. Well, not free, guarded by hideous monsters, but besides that, it is free. Jungle chests. Let me guess. Yep. I was gonna say anklet of the wind, I just forgot how. Like, what it... Like, how to say it. Brain, come on. I mean, yeah, I forgot. 
what anklet of the wind means. Well, I'm gonna take it because I need it for the uh, thing. Okay, no. No. Ah, no. Why must everything be awful? Because it's the jungle. You can't have the jungle and have good things happen. What are you, stupid? Why do I have the blade of grass in my inventory? That's just... wasteful. In two weeks? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, that must be some serious strats kind of stuff. Anyways. Yeah. I know I personally like wouldn't collect every item in the game, but that's just me. Cause I feel like I'd get lost on them a lot of the time. Yeah, one week. It's pretty neat. Uh no. You think I don't see it? Well, you're wrong. I see all your madness. And I want it to stop. Okay. Anyways. Traps? No traps. Always check for traps. Always gotta check for dang traps. Well, something's getting hurt. Ooh, money portal. Don't mind if I do these. Yeah. Doozies. Nice. Ten gold is never not an amount that I'm against. Yeah, I'd assume that, like, out of torches. I'd assume that killing a bunch of the Moon Lord, probably. Like, I'd assume that a bunch of items drop from the Moon Lord. I've seen some of the stuff's pretty impressive. Okay. I should probably get a spelunking potion next time I'm down here. Right? Farming can make you cry sometimes. It's the worst. Especially when you don't get enough grain. And your children all starve to death. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of a different kind of farming. But it's true. That is a very sad time. Ooh, look what I found. You don't mind if I do. Just gotta be a little careful about this whole hive opening business. Because, you know. The bees might be a little bit more interested in. Cause yeah, I see the bee larva in there, I think. And that's not good for business. Ah, uh, yes. It works. Kind of. Okay, no bees. No bees. Grand Eye Elemental, who's too stupid to get through here. As always. Okay, so. Here's where we use the space gun. Really carefully. Just bouncing bee nightmares. Okay. Don't activate the queen bee. Though if you're not looking to activate the queen bee, I don't know where you're here. There's not much else to gain in a hive. I see you twitching. Well, you're not gonna get the satisfaction. Because... I'm probably gonna leave in a second going to set up some of these platforms for fighting you later in life. Do not use bouncy shots for anything in the beehives, no matter what you do. It's a terrible idea. Okay. Anyways. There we go. Nice. Probably set up another platform over here. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fight this thing right now. First off, because I'm not very prepared, I don't have any potions or anything. 
attack now just because, you know, I don't wanna. The next boss I'm gonna fight is probably gonna be the Brain of Cthulhu, because it doesn't seem that difficult. And I've got it right, like, right next to my house, so... It'll be good to finally show it what for. This is just a setup for an arena thing. Later on in life. There we go. Hive. Uh, anything else I want to get? Probably not, actually. Yeah. Uh, this thing. Where's the dryad? Oh, that is way too far. Why did I do that? That was dumb. Yeah, Queen Bee's a little bit easy, but I'm also a little bit paranoid. I mean, I killed the Eye of Cthulhu, and that was very, very simple, but at the same time, a little bit worried, honestly. I'm never really sure that I can do something. I think people call it low self-esteem, but I have okay self-esteem. I'm just worried all the time. Okay, so guarding is fine. This seems to be... no. Good enough for now. Like, until I have a lot of spare money, I'd rather just get any kind of defense upgrade. It doesn't have to be warding, I'm not picky. Spiked. No. Also, I need to get an aglet. Um, aglets come from surface chests mostly, I think. Either that, or I'm wrong. Which, I mean, wouldn't be too surprising. Now that I'm not wearing the full meteor set, I should probably start putting these away. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of mana. Anyway, yeah, so... I wouldn't be too surprised if I was wrong about the aglet, about where it comes from, but yeah. True, I can make a house over my house, in fact. I think I'm gonna do that, actually. Hey! Caitlin, I swear to God. Yeah, I should really make a house over my house. I've been thinking of doing it for a while. I just don't, really do it that often for some reason. Yeah, it's the surface chest thing, which is a shame because I think I already looked over most of the surface chests. Um, not all of them, obviously. So, I'm sure there's one I missed. One or two, so... You know, eventually I'm gonna look around there, check it out. Okay, might as well take this down. Uh, the rope. I don't remember why it's here. Round B for some stupid reason. There we go, brain. Come on. Anyway, yeah. It's in a surface chest, so I should probably go look for some surface chests myself. House on my house. For a dryad as sweet as the sky. I can't sing to save my own life. I'm gonna stop now. Yes, I do have a house on my house on my house. I mean, I guess this is kind of me recreating my own home. I live in an apartment complex, so I like this, except less cramped. And I probably don't have two balconies. Just the one, last time I checked. Actually, no, this is just about as cramped as my actual house. Okay, wooden table, wooden chair. Yo, Dryad! Get over here! Map off, so she comes back faster. Come on. And... She's not here. Come on. <laughs> this counts as housing. I put you down for this house, so... Really? You should be here. Are you? No. Are you? No. Okay, you know what I should probably... She's probably gonna be here at night, so I'm not too worried about it. Actually, since I have the suspicious looking eye and a bunch of defense and other stuff, I should probably kill the Eye of Cthulhu again just for, you know, for some extra money. I was a little worried about it, but now that I look at it, I could probably just do it. You know, not be so scared. Where's my regen potions? In the trowel? Nope, in the trough. Trough. That's a weird way to pronounce that word. But it's the tr it is the correct one though. 
Uh, yeah, I think I can just do it with an iron skin. And this good space gun and the good arena I have. Let's go for it. Because, yeah, with the this thing I'll have 38 defense, which means that, like, it basically can't even touch me. The, uh, Eye Cthulhu. Yeah, I make a giant building that has, like, a couple rooms. Yeah. I usually do the, like, I don't know. <clears throat> I understand that it's the safest way to do it, is to just have a giant building with only NPCs in it. Or the smartest way. But, I don't know. I just have a creative soul, I guess. Oh, not T. Probably like a couple of rooms of idea. Yeah. I'm guessing because T isn't a number. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, it's alright. We all hit our cap flag sometimes. Hey. Anyway, so since I have the suspicious looking eye, I'm gonna try and fight the Eye Cthulhu. Since last time I had 10 less defense than this, like I had 28, and with the Iron Skin I'll have 38, and this thing will. Give me, bump me up to 40, goddamn. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll be fine. You know, I don't have full... I don't have infinite shots in the space gun anymore, but I don't think that matters since the Aya Cthulhu will not actually be able to hurt me. It's good to have hard mode defense, pre-hard mode. Well, no, hard mode defense is like... in the 60s or 70s, if I remember correctly. Which I might not. So I'm less worried about this. Want to make a public server? Well, this is hardcore mode, so, uh, like, it's one of those things of, like, you know. Hardcore mode for me is always more of a single player thing, but I don't know. Maybe it's like a special some amount of followers thing. I wouldn't mind making a public server just playing with some followers. I don't know. But probably not in the near future, sadly. Oh, yeah, I should probably buff and... Yes, why not? Hunter Potion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, that's one damage? Even the eye is one damage? Okay, this is, this is gonna be fine. I am already out of mana. Mini Shark! Yeah, Softcore. Well, I wouldn't mind making a Softcore public server. Like, maybe if a big new update comes out or something, I could play it with some people. Or something like that, you know. Softcore most like softcore is definitely fine for a server. Not right now, but later in life. Up. Ah. So how much damage do you do with this? Ah, you'll hit me in a second. Ten damage. Oh no, if he hits me thirty-two times, I'm done for. Anyway, yeah. I wouldn't mind a softcore server. A hardcore server would be something. Quite something. I've actually, like, I actually heard that some guys I know did actually do that. You know, beat the game in a, beat the game hardcore multiplayer. But A, I think that's kind of insane. And B, I mean, that's kind of insane, right? Beating the entire game hardcore multiplayer. It's crazy. I would not do that. Probably because I live in, like, Far Eastern Russia, as I always... Like, yeah, I genuinely do live in Far Eastern Russia, so the lag would be unbearable. It's fine if you play softcore, but hardcore is very bad. What did I do with the Cthulhu shield? Did I keep it? Nah. Hey, yeah, no, I'm down. Uh, like, I probably wouldn't make a private server, I don't know. Unless it was like a special small sort of fair, but yeah. You could come on in and check it out if you wanted. Though, like, that's all future planning. I probably wouldn't make a server in the immediate future, you know. But, you know, if I ever do make one, I wouldn't mind having you in there. Okay. Hey. Stop that. Okay, sweet. Probably make a couple more Crimtain thingies. Doo -doo -doo. 40 Crimtain bars. I can still make 
nothing. Yeah, it's not possible to make, like, a hardcore-only server, but I mean, like, I know some guys who made only hardcore characters and beat it with only hardcore characters. That kind of thing. I guess I'm stockpiling these bars, because there's nothing else to use them on. Alright, I wanted to reforge my stuff to be better. Yo. No. No. Out of money again. Yeah, right? Only hardcore characters is pretty crazy. I don't think I'd be able to do that myself. Because like I said, my frame rate. Uh, well, good. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe I should be able to take on the uh, Brain of Cthulhu at this point. Like, you know what? Yeah, let's go check it out. Not like kill him right now, but make an arena at least. I know he's a bit tougher than he is in regular mode, but I always consider the like Brain of Cthulhu and your world fights a little bit easier than the I have Cthulhu fight. I always think the I have Cthulhu fight is harder, so who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Or rather, not lucky. Maybe the uh, Brain of Cthulhu fight really has gotten a lot easier. I mean, it probably is going to be easy. I have 40 defense with my buffs. So you probably wouldn't even be able to touch me. And the space gun is really good for piercing shots. Yeah. I don't know. Kinda, you know. In Russia, we have a saying of. Uh, in Russia, in Russia, we have a saying. But yeah, no, we genuinely do have a saying, which goes, uh, dividing the skin of an unkilled bear. And it's that kind of thing here, too. I'm talking about, like, oh, the Brain of Cthulhu is easy, and this fight is gonna be super easy, and I'm not even committed to the fight yet. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it. It's 1.32 a.m. where you are? Nice. It is 16.33 around here. Usually... So we've been going for about an hour and 40 minutes. Usually I'd end this... Like, usually I have about three hours of streaming, but I think I'm gonna end it a little earlier today, because I have some things to attend to. Hang. No. Oops. Did I, just, did I just drink all my buffs again? Crap. Well, now I have to fight it. And I didn't bring any explosives. God damn it. Oh yeah, he's learning Russian? Like, your literal brother is just a friend. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, I guess it didn't... I mean, yeah, he's learning Russian. That's great. Russian is quite a tough language to learn, from what I've heard. Oh, I have sticky dynamite. Perfect. Please don't just blow up the orb. Ah. Just blew up the orb. I did not mean to do this. Let's hope this will be okay. Oh, family? Nice. Anyway, uh... Yeah, this ain't good. This really ain't good. As a matter of fact, this is completely awful. Okay. Okay. I'm lucky that I'm getting some good tissue samples out of this. Okay. Okay. This ain't going so hot, I gotta admit. Probably because I'm completely unprepared. Ah. Oh. Whoo, okay, let's not do that again. How about... Did I even get anything for this? Undertaker, blah. Okay, I got real lucky that this fight was not as difficult as I thought it would be. As, like, it's definitely more difficult than I thought it could be. Um, nearly died. 
But, wow. Yeah, GG on that. Lucky me. Hey, look who's here. 6% crimson. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the uh, nice job there. I was a little scared, honestly. That did not go nearly as safely as the uh, Ike Thule fight went, probably because it was very impromptu. I did not expect to actually fight that guy right now. Anyways. Now we can make stuff. I mean, the crimson stuff ain't the best. But hey, it's beat, it beats the rest. By quite a lot. Actually. Yeah, right. Right? Okay. Don't throw those out yet. They might still be useful. Okay. Greatly increased life regen. Nice. And also I want the pickaxe. And that's probably the only things I want. Yeah, because this can mine hellstone, so that's good. Anyway, how much increased damage are we talking here? How much increased life regen, rather? We have more defense, definitely. Two more. Even with the iron... Even with the iron skin, that's a fair bit. So that's still, like, 30-something. Yeah, wow, nearly 3,000 hours. That's pretty impressive. Um... I think I have a lot of hours, but probably about five, six hundred. Not that many, because I was always more of the kind of guy who just plays it a little bit, and then much less. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty. Well, I'd say that's pretty good life regen. I don't know. Definitely worth it for the increased sort of damage. I mean, for the increased defense. And the increased damage, too. Nice. D Wait, did I get any money? Oh, I didn't open it yet. Doi. Do, 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 do. Open. Bunch of money, bunch of Grimtain. Nice. I do like this money because I still want to redo these Spectre Boots. Because they are quite useful. But they could be more useful if they were... Um... Warding, but at the same time, now that I think about it... Actually, I should probably wait. Because... Okay, so things like this, little caves like this... Are actually ideal for what I want to do, which is... Find the aglet. Right. Maybe I even have an aglet at home that I just don't wear. Because if I do, that would make life a hell of a lot easier for me. Because what I kind of want to do... Nope, no aglets. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't played in a while before yesterday. Hello, R Lorenzo. <laughs> Great. Painters. Yeah, well, you know, Terraria is the kind of game really where you want to take a... I think it's the kind of game where you play it for a while, then you take a long break, then you play it for a while more. That's just what I feel. Anyway, so, okay, no aglets, which is a shame. Oh, as in... Oh, yeah, since midnight, yeah. <laughs> I get it. Anyway, so no aglet, which is a shame because I really want an aglet. I think I might just check out some, like, very early on caves. Over on the right. Because, yeah. I wanted to reforge the Spectre Boots, but I'm actually gonna hold out for a bit on those, you know, Anklet of the Wind Boots. You know, the boots you get by combining the Anklet and the Aglet and the stuff with the increased movement speed and everything. Because they're quite... Because, you know, otherwise I'm just going to get warding on the Spectre Boots and then get make them into probably bonusless Thunder Spark Boots. Which is not really what I want. Let's not waste our money. Let's be smart. Let's do smart things. Anyway, Lorenzo. For once in my life, I really wanted to be the die guy, honestly. Because one thing I kind of want to do still is get some blue die to make myself blue. Call myself the Slime Reaper. Or something dumb like that. 
point is. Okay, good. I didn't just leave an aglet in there. That would be kind of annoying. If I was just like, eh, aglet, I don't need that. You do need it, you dumb shit. Hey, free. Well, almost free. Life gem. I'm a fan. Nice, we're almost two full health. Oh, that's a lot of amethyst. I like being almost two full health. It's quite pleasant. Quite pleasant feeling. Anyway. So I'm just gonna go down a little ways and try and find some treasure. If this doesn't work out, I'm just gonna go out and dig. Because I really want an aglet. And I'm sure there has to be at least one in like a surface cave somewhere that I just missed. Because otherwise, well, that would just be ridiculous. A lack of aglets. Did I pick up that pressure plate? No. Good, let's keep it that way. Don't need any of those in my world. Yeah, it's 600 with the potions, from what I hear. I just mean max health with like... Stuff that... I have. Because, yeah, it's 400 health maximum. And then it's also about... And then, you know, you go to hard mode, it's 500. And then you go to... Uh, 600 with the potion that makes your life increased. That's kinda neat. But you still can't survive a boulder drop. Unless you're wearing, like, full turtle armor and iron skin and all warding stuff. And only then can you safely wander the underground and be sure that boulders aren't gonna kill you. Terrible things. Completely awful. Why why do I not have a spelunker potion? Should have taken it. Would have made this a lot easier instead of just blindly digging. You know what? Let's go and do that, actually. I have one at home. Why am I just not taking it? There. Might be a waste of time to use it right now, but this way I can run there. And if there are any chests underground that I just didn't see on the surface. Gold armor? I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure it's not even gold armor to survive a boulder if you're playing on expert mode. Pretty sure it kills you outright no matter what. Which is kind of annoying. It does some ex does some ridiculous amount of damage. I don't remember. But yeah, no, in regular mode, boulders are a lot safer. Because you need... F I mean, you still need a lot of health, but... They're not insta-kill. Which is nice. I wish the world was nice to me. <laughs> but that's not gonna happen. And you know what? That's fine. I have learned to deal with it. Oh, cobalt. Right, the cobalt armor. That super rare stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, man, you're great English. Anyway. Do, do. So let's go look for some aglets, yeah. Aglet Quest 2014. 15. It's. Nearly 2016, and I'm still calling it 25th, 2014. Because I also good English. We good English together, Agent Perry. Well, there's a pot. That's kind of promising, right? Where there's pot, there's fun. Or at least hopefully treasure chests. I don't know. It might just be like a little outcropping with a single pot in it, which would kind of piss me off. Anything? I'll be carrying this around. 2016. Yeah, like... I almost consider it... I basically consider it 2016 whenever. Okay, so it was a single outcropping with a pot. I have successfully been pissed off, thanks game. I mean, I'm not that angry, but... Really? 
This is all you could bring me? You're worthless. Hmm. That's kind of a cave. I should go dig there. Anyway. Um, do I ever play Minecraft? I used to. Like, I, used, I bought it back in the day, like... I actually bought it when it, there were still, like, finite maps. It was an infinite mode. And infinite mode was a special mode that you could get into that glitched, like, crazy. But these days, I kind of got over it. I play it sometimes, like, rarely. I don't know. Doesn't feel as interesting to me anymore. I still like it, I just don't do it anymore. Don't play it. Anyway. Yeah, I've seen the gliders, I actually am subscribed. Like, I know the news in general about the gliders and things like that. It looks very fancy, I'll admit. And apparently they did something with the end to have it all changed. Which I like. Actually, in terms of Minecraft, besides the Terraria hardcore series, I think a Minecraft hardcore series would be kinda cool to do. If slash when I eventually do this. Like complete it. Complete this mode. Complete Terraria. And also one thing that I really want to do in terms of Minecraft that I don't think I'll ever do, sadly, because there's just not as much demand. Or, like, you know those challenge maps that capture the monument stuff that is, like, super hard? That always, like, I really like those maps. They remind me of Dark Souls, which is a staple on this channel. Very, you know, the great series of games. They remind me of those, and I just love to play some of those, like a regular playthrough. Ah, nearly fell into that dark trap. Pineapples and apples, is that like a... series of CTM maps, or are you just expressing your love for fruit? Because I will agree that fruit is great. Oh, bananas. Yeah, bananas are even better than pineapples and bananas. Honestly, apples aren't my favorite fruit anyway, because if you eat too many of them, you get, like, that sort of weird feeling in your mouth. Makes it hurt a little bit. But no, bananas are fantastic. Pineapples are okay. Um, probably my favorite two tropical fruits would have to be, like, pineapple, uh, not pineapples, bananas and watermelons. Oh, pineapples and bananas. Oh, yeah, no. As food, definitely. But yeah, bananas and watermelons are great. Too bad they're almost never in the season at the same time. Which is... Actually, that is weird. You always see, like, pineapples... I mean, bananas and watermelons as sort of... stereotypes of tropical food, but never at the same time. You always get either bananas or pineapples. You never get... Bananas and pineapples, do you? I mean, bananas and watermelons. I don't remember the last time I've seen a banana and a watermelon together at the same time. That is really weird. Kind of freaking me out now. <laughs> okay, I am digging around here, and I am not finding anything. Which is a little depressing. Because I'm not, like, gonna go make new worlds and just run around them hoping to get an aglet. I'm just gonna say that immediately. I really would still like an aglet, because, you know, it's real good for boots and shit. I guess it's always gonna be in the last place you look. Crazy craft? Yeah, I haven't really played. I haven't heard of that, actually, no. So, yes, your bet is correct. You can... You win whatever you bet yourself. Ok, 
Okay, good. Things seem okay around here. I feel very paranoid about boulders because boulders are always like I mean they're always there. There's just no saving yourself from those bastards. You know, there really is no relief. Okay. I'm not seeing any treasure chests game. And then you wonder why people don't like you. If you want people to like you, you have to give them stuff. It's really as simple as that. Out of torches. Yeah, I'm at that point in the game where... I don't know why, but I'm never running out of gel. Like, it's not like I even have a lot of... It's not like I even kill a lot of slimes. I just don't run out of gel. Frick. Rubies. Actually, rubies are useful for the uh, king slime. If I ever run out of gel, or just need a lot of money real fast, I can stockpile money for it. Actually, I should immediately start... Like, if we're talking about stockpiling money, like, past the point... Say Minecraft mod pack. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not one. Like I'm not really one for mods myself, but you know, some mods are good. I wouldn't mind checking it out. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh lord. Boulder cavern up in here. No. And. No. I'll stop playing in like two weeks. I mean, after non stop playing, I'm assuming. <laughs> now, like, after two weeks, I go, oh, this is boring. Yeah, I don't do that for many games. Anyway. Ugh. You know how to get to? Alright. Oh, Terraria mods. Um, I'm assuming there's like a special Terraria modding forum thing. Another one. This game is out for blood. Mine, specifically. Look at that. There's like three boulder traps in rapid succession. Thank god I'm careful all the time. Anyway, yeah, I'm assuming there's like some special forum for Terraria mods. Yeah, it's like Terraria, you play and stop. I'm... yeah. I was guessing that's what she meant. Anyway. Yeah. I'm not seeing... any aglets. Any. I mean, I'm sure there's an aglet in this world. Like, I'm not saying every Terraria world is guaranteed to have an aglet in it. That's pretty far from the truth, but... Like, I'm guessing that my world has at least one. This is gonna be a while till I find it. Uh, which is a shame, because... You know, that's the way to continue on with your life. Okay. I'm tired of your shit, Elemental. Anyway. I was talking about stockpiling money? Oh yeah, stockpiling money. Um... Yeah, oh, it's guaranteed to have an aglet? Then, yeah, definitely, I'm just looking in the wrong places. Anyway, let's go home. I forgot to drop this off. Because I don't actually need it. Except for maybe more defense, but never mind that. Drop it off. One meteorite bar, why not? More Crimtane. Just gonna do some of this stuff right now. Anyway, yeah. Oh no, my meteorite is in my other chest. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm probably gonna go look for the aglet some other time. Oh, it's like a 0 0.01. Okay. Well, I doubt I'm that lucky. I'm guessing it's just somewhere in this general area. So it's gonna be a while till I find it, but I will find it eventually. 
Anyway, in terms of stockpiling, I just realized the thing we have to really stockpile money for later on in life is the, uh, wings. The wings from the doctor, from the witch doctor. They cost two platinum, and he only sells them in a hard mode, but, uh, hard mode without wings is pain, so I just immediately want to get a house. Like, I just immediately, once I get the witch doctor, I want to start saving up money for the, uh, wings fund. Anyway, we got a couple more cat coins out of that. Let's go ahead and actually try and do some more reforges. On wording. Oh my god, first try! I am incredible! Nice. Okay, so with that incredible luck and these dropped frames. Come on, frames. Come on. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end it here, sadly. I mean, usually I stream for like at least another hour. Because it's been like two hours, I usually stream for three, but I do actually have some things to do today that are quite time critical. Like, I'm going to a thing, so. Sadly, I think that's gonna be it for me. And these frames, good god, man. But yeah, um, I think this is just a good sort of episode of housekeeping. Killed the Brandy Cthulhu, that was quite nice. Just in general, did some things, and uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the stream, or what you saw of it, and I will see you next time, which I probably is either gonna be tomorrow, because I have a lesson free, or the, uh, what's the word for it? The weekends, that's right. Alright, uh, see you around. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, stop streaming. Alright. I will see you next time. Da 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 da. <laughs>